from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now and on the hill for the Dodgers Shohei Otani. Well he comes at hitters with a five pitch mix so for him it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches depending on how things are going and how things are working. But if he can control four or even five of those offerings look out Leading hitters it's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep shortstop. those guys off balance. And now Hassan Kim the pitch. And he lays down a bunt. And he barehands it. Picks it up with a bare hand, throws to first. Nicely done for the out. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, big challenge for them today as they take on a pitcher who brings electric stuff and really racks up the strikeouts. Yeah, and it's all about making good contact against a pitcher like this. You're not going to get very many pitches to hit in an at bat, maybe even in a game. So you've got to be ready, zoned in in the spot where you think you've got the best chance and jump all over it. Might be the first pitch of the at-bat, so you better walk up there ready from the jump. If they can make early, consistent contact, I think they'll have a much better shot against him. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. You talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Swing and a ball popped up. Freeman under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Batting third. The first baseman, number nine, Jake. Two outs, base is empty. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Two out spaces empty. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck right field. Hayward going back on this one. Tattooed and gone. He leaves the yard to right, and that gives him a lead. It's 1 0. Boog, his plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Manny Machado up to the plate. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And the right hander deals. And that one fouled off. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1 0 lead. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener. Not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. We go to the bottom of the first, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. The wind of the pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Darvish, multi-time all-star. He features a sinker, a slur, a slider, a four-seamer, and he occasionally uses a curve. Now the 0-1. The shortstop takes a ball. You know, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but 
That doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. And a foul ball. Deal one. Ball. And ball one. Left-hand batter waits. That one missed. Definitely a swing and miss slider yep. down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Here's a rocket out to left. Profar pulls that one down, and there's two down. Batting third, the catcher. And up to the plate is Will Smith. There's the strike. All one's the count. There. Two strikes. Three. Swings and misses. And the Dodgers are set down in order. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They trail here. One nothing. New inning getting started. Stepping Diego. in for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. Sander. The pitch. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, move. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now, Boog, I'll tell you firsthand, retired players, we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days, but getting drilled by a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk hey. about. Luis Campusano stands in now and watches strike one. Otani, a righty that throws with power. 29 years old, can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. And he'll one. Ball one. Just missed. Patrick Johnson oh, no. calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you gotta make players earn it. And a ball and two strikes. And another ball. Well, with the Amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt. A good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Here comes a pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And here it comes. Bogart's on the goal. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And now the count is full. And another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. And a foul ball, he stays alive.
struck him out looking. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third, and that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. Now batting jerks and Profar. Otani checks over to first, and he's back. Profar measures six feet even, 185 pounds, and he's a native of Curacao. First pitch, and he just misses. Bogarts leads off first with one away. So two balls and no strikes. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. And there's two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Next is the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. Otani with a move to first. Bogart dives back. Batten in the eighth spot in today's lineup. He's usually a third baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. A little bit of a day off for him. Instead of being at the hot corner, he can just kind of put the batting gloves on, hold the bat as he sits on the bench, waiting for his time to hit. In the air, right field. Hayward on his way over. And that is that. One left for San Diego, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here in L.A., and now it's Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Well, here's an interesting stat on Darvish. He has more than 100 wins in his big league career. The only Japanese-born pitcher with more wins is Hideo Nomo, my former teammate. Yo won. And that's down it away. Pitch misses there. Now two balls and a strike. Righty delivers. Fouls one off. Two and two. The line of the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Outside, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. So up next, James Outman. That's down and in. Runner at first with no outs here. And that's off the inside edge. Two and oh. This is again five in a row. Way to lay off that pitch down. Teoscar Hernandez up next. Line drive caught. Made a bid for a nice opposite field double down the line. Beautiful swing, but nothing you can do about the result. Third baseman are just used to handling hot shots like that. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Oh. 
First pitch misses. Ball one, no strike. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And that's outside. And the count is 2-0. Oh. The pitch. Inside just missed. See if he gives him anything to hit here. In for a strike. And the count is three and one. Foul ball there. At the belt and fires. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Batting seven, the designated hitter. Chris Taylor now. Chris Taylor. And the first Taylor. offering is not close. Pitch. Slow roller to first. Cronenworth over to Kim. One. Well, they had the chance of turning two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. Here's Jason Hayward. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Two on, two outs. Swing and a slow roll. And it's just foul. That was close. Ground ball left side. Zips it to He's first, out. and that is the inning. Dodgers strand a couple, and it remains 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third the inning. Now, Jose Azokar. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. All one, no play. Out to short. Throw on to Freeman. Oh. And one away in the top of the third. The batter, number seven. Shortstop, Cost Young Kim. So the batting order turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. He's over one. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, Kim is one of those players that it's just hard to take your eyes off of him, man. Not many players in the 2023 World Baseball Classic had more fun than he did. He hit a grand slam and a win against China, and earlier in the tournament had a two-homer game. Delivered some special moments for Korea. Try to bunt his way on. Grabs it barehanded, and he beats no, it. Did. That's a hit. Great try there. He was racing down the line and probably didn't assume he was going to be safe until his foot hit the bag and looked up for the umpire. Nice bond and great hustle to get himself a knock. So man aboard one down and it's Tatis at the plate. He popped out his first time. Otani checks over to first and he's back. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Hey. 
In the dirt. And it's a ball and a strike as the runner holds. Tatis waits. That's a strike. And it's one and two. Fly ball down the line. Dives, but he can't get it. It's a foul ball. And that's off the inside edge. Two and two. Just off the outside edge. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Next is the speedy first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. He's already homered here in this one. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Not even close there. One ball, one strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. Fly ball, center field. Outman coming in on it. He's got it. That's out number two. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Here's Machado. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Next offering way off the plate. Kim, the lead runner out at second. Tatis on at first with two down. Wouldn't chase that time. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two outs. And Manny gets a piece. And he deals. Okay. Xander Bogarts waits on deck. Two on, two outs. And that's the strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Padres one and the Dodgers nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and now it's Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ground ball to the right side. Into the outfield base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Here's Mookie to hit. Popped out and fouled ground first time through. And ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Tying run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. 
right through there for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. To third. On to Bogarts. Back to first, and that is a double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. 0 for 1 so far. It's the outside corner with that one. 0 and 1. Two down, nobody on. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. And it's strike two. One ball, two strikes. The line to kick the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Yeah, there's a ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. down looking one hit in the inning but no one left three innings complete it's the Padres one and the Dodgers nothing back here at Dodger Stadium John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth Xander Bogarts And a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. You know, these Padres do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. One up, one down. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. Now and that is. might be the case yes, today. Luis. Next, it's the catcher Compusano. for the Padres, Luis Campusano. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. Ball Up and two. in, and it's 2-0. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. And a pitch. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. One down. Next for the Padres, Jerickson Profar. Fly to left his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now batter, the designated hitter, Matthew Batten. Now at the plate, Matthew Batten. He's 0 for 1. And it's fouled away. Two outs. Swing and a pop up. Foul at a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. 
the pitch. That's oh. off the mark, and it's one and two. And that skips in the dirt. Capusano, the runner at first with two gone. That one misses. Three and two now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score him. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number three. Padres leave one, but they still lead it one nothing. Here with my pal Ziggy. The batter now will be Will Smith. And a pitch. And for a strike, going on. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. And there's a strike on the outside corner. A swing and a miss. One out. The third baseman, number Max Muncy at the dish. Max. Worked a walk in his first Muncy. trip to the plate. Eight. And that clips the inside corner. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. One Tap ball. dances out of the way of that one. Look out! Oh, and it hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. One gone runner at first. And next for L.A., James Outman. In for a strike, 0-1. That's inside. Man at first, one away. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Fastball for a strike, and it's 0-1. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning-inning double play, boo. And now the 01. That clips the corner. All right, now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Two on, one out. Oh, that hit him. Safe at first, and now after the play, we'll check on the right hander status. And now they'll hustle out to check on him. That three. was quite a Definitely shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, hey, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Chris Taylor. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes.
And two. another ball. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Swung on, belted. That will carry. One runs in, and it's off the wall. Had a good play. He's in there. Three runs score, and it's three to one. Bases loaded, and he drives them all in. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that one clips the corner. Even close there. Now one and two. Oh, Outside. Right Taylor over at second, one down. Got him. Two away. No, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring okay. position in two strikes. Looks Just like put the base, ball man. in place somewhere, yeah, and you got a chance. Yeah. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. In the air, left field, Profar. Sizing this one up, makes the catch inning over. But three runs come across in the inning. All on this three-run double. And this is now a three-one ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. We go to the top of the fifth. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Jose Azokar. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. You know, these Padres need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. Right through there for a strike. On the ground at first, Freeman. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. So the San Diego batting order turns over. Ha Sung Kim digs in now. One for two. Now fly ball to right center. Hayward settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. And that quickly two away. Up next to the now it's Fernando right Tatis here. Jr. Fernando I think Tatis. when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's oh going to give God. one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And here it comes. Yeah. Swing and a miss, strike one. Boom, oh, that's one Cheddar, baby. The Dodgers leading by two, and we're at the top of the fifth. No, oh, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Nice. Swings and misses, struck him out. Padres go down quietly, and they still trail it here, three to one.
ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here is Mookie Betts. Well, you always have to be careful in these spots because Mookie is lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff spot in baseball history. 0-1. This is a strike to Mookie. Count, On the ground, out to short. Sends it to oh. first, and Betts is gone. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. And up next for Los Angeles, Freddie Freeman. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. In there at the knees, and that's strike two. And he hits a ground ball right side. Cronenworth throws on to first. Old man for the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That one misses. 1 and 0. Oh. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And no that's off the, the inside two. edge. Two balls, no strikes. Right through there for a strike. That one finds the corner, and that is strike two. And the pitch. Just off the outside corner, and the count is filled up. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner, just a little bit off the edge. Hard hit to third. Machado throws to first in time, and they get the out on Smith. What a play, inning over. Dodgers go down quietly, and the score stays 3-1. to one. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boogie didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. Tani back to work. Aye. That's in there. Sliced hard, but foul down the left side. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. 0 oh 2 now. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Going oh, two now. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Got him. And that's the first out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Brady textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Manny Machado now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike.
One down, base is empty. Two and oh. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. That oh, one right. misses. And now 3 and 0. Oh. The Padres down by a pair. And we're in the top half of the sixth. And there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. 1 0. In the dirt, but no advance. That's ball one. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know at the very least if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. Right into the plate. In the air right field. Hayward pulls it down and there's two gone. And now Luis Campusano. That misses. Ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Kicks and deals. Headed down the line. And that is a foul ball. Machado off of first with two away. Stays alive. And the right hander deals. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres one. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Pedro Avila. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. The third baseman, Max Muncy. Here comes a pitch. He swings and fouls one off. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count up, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the, the sixth. Fielder, number James Outman Yay. steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Yeah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Double-barreled action in the bullpen for San Diego. Tom Cosgrove appears to be getting loose. De Los Santos, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Breaking ball inside. And the count even one and one. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Way upstairs. Two and one. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And gone. 
That was blasted to the moon. It's 4-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. First offering and it just misses. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. One, two. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Capusano down to first with it. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Well, classic no pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table and you can't make contact. Now here is Chris Taylor. There's a strike. The pitch. Up and in, and the count is one and one. And another ball. Outside corner for a strike. Next offering upstairs. Bounced up the middle. Oh, what a stop. To his knee, the throw. And that's a nice play to end the inning. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play, and that ends the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Brewstar Grotterol getting loose out there. Trying it. The hard throwing right hander up as well. The 1 1. Profar gets a piece there. And he deals. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The one-two. And Whoa, downstairs. Right 
Righty delivers. Profar checks his swing, appeal to third, and he held up. And a swing and a miss. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Now the DH for the Padres, Matthew Batten. And first offering is fouled off. The Dodgers leading by three here at the top half of inning number seven. Right through there for a strike. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Hernandez makes the play. Two down. Now the batter now, Jose Azokar. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Ball one, no strikes. He's so solid, calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Off the mark there, ball two. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, we join you with a traditional double stretch. Back here in L.A. And now the right fielder, Jason right Hayward. Field. Jason Hayward. The wind of the pitch. Hey. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. All ones that count. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That one back. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. So, man aboard. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Well, that one is upstairs. Oh, Just missed. That clips the corner. Man at second. And that drops in for a strike. In the air, left side. Profar on the move towards foul ground. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he's got a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's Mookie Betts. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, Aye. yes, but also some power. The 0 1. Lifted in the air, right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now batting. First baseman, Freddie Freeman. At the plate, Freddie Freeman. I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone here. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. 
And the force play is now in order. Now batting. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. First pitch just misses. And strike one to the catcher. At the belt and fires. Fought off foul. The Dodgers trying to break this one open here at the bottom of the seven. And that just misses. And the next pitch is way outside. Right handed reliever. Popped up in the infield fly rule call. The third baseman, number 13, Max. Here comes Max Muncy. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hayward, the runner at third. Lux at second. Freeman at first. Two out of the inning. And fouled off. Here's a 1 1. Right through there for a strike. Towards first. Cronenworth steps on the bag out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. And the Dodgers leave him loaded as they hold on to a 4 1 lead. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Brewstar Grotterol. Number 48. Brewstar Grotterol. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. One for three. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. Grotterol, 6-1 righty. He features a sinker, a slider, a cutter, and he works in a four-seamer. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge. And now it's even one and one. And a pitch. Oh, he gloves it. Fires to first, and they oh. get the out. Now that right here, Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. A strikeout and a walk. Yeah. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. He's already homered in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one.
Left hand hitter waits. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The Padres trailing by three and we're at the top of the eighth. And that one is inside. Two two now. And they'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Next offering is downstairs. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Two outs and a swing and a miss and that's that nothing doing there for the Friars and this is still a 4 1 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark stepping in James Outman. The pitch. That one missing inside. And it delivers outside. The wind to kick the 2 0. That one missed. Strike one. Three balls, one strike. Three one is on the way. And that one wrapped foul. The wind of the pitch. And he walked him. Oh, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Popped up left side. Kim moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. Up next to the Dodgers, the designated hitter, Fred. And at first, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Chris Taylor. Counts one and It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. The 1 0. Wouldn't oh, chase it. that time. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, that one ripped left field and out of here. So he goes yard to left and they boost their lead. It's 6 1. He just sent a jolt of electricity into this stadium with that swing. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. So a lefty out of the pen, Tom Cosgrove. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ball and that one. one missing low. Ball one, no strike.
And here it comes. There's the strike. And now the lefty. And that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. Ball and there's three. a ball. Three balls, one strike. And that is in for a strike. Three and two now. Payoff pitch. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No pattern. And next for LA, Second Gavin Lux. Gavin. Lux. That one's in there. And that is strike one. one. Well, a good breaking ball like that can buckle the hitter. And by the time you realize it's going to be in the strike zone, it's too late to pull the trigger. The pitch. Chopper to second. Bogarts handles the chance. The throw to first. That ends the frame. Two-run shot for the Dodgers this inning. Last chance coming up for the Padres. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, J.P. Fireisen. And you know, Your bullpen guys lead. can struggle sometimes when now they're called upon with big Dodgers. leads because it just Double doesn't have the five. same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. The pitch. Machado Whoa, stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Movement in the bullpen. Alex Vesia, the lefty with big swing and miss stuff, is getting ready. Oh, and that's down it away. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. In the air, left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Makes the catch for the out. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. It's Xander Bogarts now. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away and the count remains 0-2. Right-hander kicks, deals, gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Ball one, one to Bogarts. Just off the inside corner. Two, two balls, balls, two strikes. Two strikes. And a pitch. Strike. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now only one out remaining. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their the starter, battle. and the bullpen the is catcher. following suit. Louise. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach. When you can hand the ball off to multiple arms, and get stability from all of their performances. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. 
Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And here is Jerickson Profar. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. Calls it in, and that's the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 6-1 is your final here today. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.